is Ajay Kalpana here and in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square plus y square plus x into dx plus xy into dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. x square plus y square plus x into dx plus xy into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1, which is in m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two, the coefficient of differential dx is your m and coefficient of differential dy is your n where m equals to x square plus y square plus x and n equals to xy. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to dou y dou y of for m equals to x square plus y square plus x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of y into first term. That is partial derivative of, sorry, not partial derivative of y. Partial derivative of first term with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y plus partial derivative of third term with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus partial derivative of x with respect to y is 0 is equal to 2y. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2y. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou y dou x of for n equals to x y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here y will be treated as constant. This is equal to constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x is equal to y into partial. Partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equal to y. Therefore, Partial derivative of n with respect to x is y. It's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So from this we can see that the given differential equation that is equation 1 is non-exact. Right. Since the given equation is non-exact. And it is non-homogeneous. By looking at the equation, we can say it is non-homogeneous. Power of this term is 2. And here the power of is 2. And power of x is 1. Here, 1 plus 1. Power of x is 1 and the power of y is 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Here you are having 2, 2, 1 and 2. All the powers are not same. So from this we can say that this equation is non-homogeneous. Okay. And also it is not in y into some function of x, y into dx plus x into some function of x, y into dy equals to 0 form. So now, based on 
partial derivatives and n will find an integrating factor. Using 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x, y gets cancelled from this, this and this. Is equals to 1 by x y times partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2y minus partial derivative of m with respect to x is 1. Is equals to 2y minus y is y by x y y. Here y gets cancelled and we will get 1 by x which is a function of x alone. Function of x alone. say function of x above x okay if if we get any real number if we get any real number say k then integrating factor will be e power integral k into dx but we got f of x then our integrating factor will be e power integral f of x into dx. Okay. Therefore, 1 by n times partial derivative of n with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x is equals to 1 by x which is a function of x alone. This f of x, our integrating factor will be e power integral f of x dx is equal to e power integral for f of x 1 by x dx is equal to e power integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. You can write this as e power log x. We know that e power log m equals to m then you get x. So here our integrating factor is x. Therefore integrating factor is x or equals to x. Okay. Now the given equation can be reduced to an exact equation by multiplying it with this integrating factor. Okay. We are going to reduce this equation to an exact equation by multiplying this with x. x times the given equation gives an exact equation. Then x times x square plus y square plus x into dx plus x or x times x y to dy equals to 0. You can consider it as equation 2. Then x into x square x cube plus x y square plus x into x x square into dx plus x into x, x square into y dy equals to 0, which is in m1 dx plus m1 dy equals to 0 form. Where m1 equals to By comparing these two, we will get m1 and n1. So, the coefficient of differential dx, that is m1 will be coefficient of differential dx, x cube plus xy square plus x square. Coefficient of, 
coefficient of differential dy will be n1. Coefficient of dy, that is x squared y, will be a n1. We have m1 equals to x cube plus xy square plus x square and n1 equals to x square y. If the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x, then we can say that the reduced equation, that is equation 2, is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivatives of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to dou y dou y of for m1 x cube plus xy square plus x square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This is equal to partial derivative of first term with respect to a, sorry, with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y plus partial derivative of third term with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus here x is constant so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y plus Partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0. This is equal to x into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y. This is equal to 2xy. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to 2xy. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to dou y dou x of for n1 x square y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here y will be treated as constant. You can write this as constant into partial derivative of x square with respect to x. Is equals to y into partial derivative of x square is 2x, which is equal to 2xy. Therefore, Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is 2xy. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to 2xy. From this we can say that equation 2 is exact. That is the equation obtained by Multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is an exact equation. So now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So the general solution of equation 2 that is exact equation will be the general solution of 1. We know that the general solution of an exact equation which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form is given by integral over x m1 dx plus integral of terms of n1 free from x into d by equals to c. Now consider the first integral. Integral over x m1 dx. Here we will be integrating m1 with respect to x treating y as constant. is equal to integral of for m1 x cube plus x y square plus x square into dx is equal to integral x cube dx plus integral x y square dx plus integral x square dx is equal to integral x cube dx we are having a constant here, y square is constant, right? So we'll write the constant outside the integral plus constant into integral x dx plus integral x square dx is equals to 
Integral x cube dx is x power 4 by 4 plus y square into integral x dx is x square by 2 plus integral x square dx is x cube by 3. You can write this as x power 4 by 4 plus x square y square by 2 plus x cube by 3. Now we can take LCM of 4, 2 and 3. Two ones are two twos are four two three two twos are four four threes are twelve so twelve is your LCM. If you consider the first first term you're having four in the denominator, right? So power four in the numerator you'll get three x power four. Plus the denominator of second term you are having 2. So power 2 in the numerator you will get 2 3 is a 6 into x square y square plus the denominator of third term you are having 3. Power 3 in the numerator you will get 2 2 is a 4 x cube. Already you have see three x power four by twelve. Three fours are twelve, right? X power four by four you'll get. Here if you consider this, you're having six x square by square by twelve, six ones are six twos are so you'll get x square by square by two. And here, 4x cubed by 12, 4 3s are 12, you'll get x cubed by 3. Okay? Now coming to the second integral. Integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy. So if you consider n, you're having x squared by this involves x, right? So terms of n1 free from x is 0. Integral 0 dy is 0. Now, coming to the general solution of equation 1. The general solution of 1 is the general solution of 2. The general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral. 3x power 4 plus 6x square y square plus 4x cubed by 12 plus result obtained from the second integral 0 equals to c. Then 3x power 4 plus 6x square y square plus 4x cubed by 12 equals to c. Then 3x power 4 plus 6x square y square plus 4x cube equals to c into 12. 12c. Since c being constant, you can write 12c as c. Then we get 3x power 4 plus 6x square y square plus 4x cube equals to c, which is the required general solution to the given equation. So this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from a non-exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.